My name is Ken from the uh, local Vapor, and uh, we are here and have the uh, esteemed pleasure to meet with uh, Senator uh, Scott Wagner, uh, who was uh, just here for the uh, Pennsylvania Vapor Alley number two, uh, and we had the pleasure to hear a great speech from him, and we really appreciate that. Just wanted to kind of get your whole take on the 40% uh, tax for some of our customers. I um, was curious if you directly support uh, HB 2342 and what um, State Representative uh, Whelan is trying to propose for something that's a little bit more workable uh, in terms of the taxes. And I didn't know if you had any other uh, suggestions, maybe if that were not reintroduced and passed, um, that maybe uh, you had given some thought? Or I do support the bill that's been introduced by Representative Whelan, mm -hmm. but I guess my issue becomes a lot deeper. I've been here for almost three years, mm -hmm. and, and I, all I can say is what I have seen here in Harrisburg, uh, the best way to describe Harrisburg is government gone wild. We don't have a revenue problem, we have a spending problem. We wasted a billion dollars on a statewide radio system that, that was the camp contract was terminated, you know, this summer. It was a 10-year project. Uh, we just wasted we, what I believe is 400 million dollars on an upgrade of, of the, you know, the computer system, the infrastructure, and the unemployment call center. I mean, I I could go on for hours of, you know, what I see up here in Harrisburg. We don't have a revenue problem. We have a spending problem. And until we get my position, and I'm not an unreasonable. Person. I'm a private sector business owner, but until we get our arms around the revenue side and the spending side, we should not be increasing taxes on anything, period. So I voted against the, uh, you know, the, the last budget, uh, the last two budgets that involved any, any tax increases. So, I mean, this, you know, I, I think we have to turn over rocks. We have to find out, you know, where we're wasting money. And you know, I'm a I'm a big believer that we should be doing zero-based budgeting up here in Harrisburg. And if we did that, I think the first year we'd probably find somewhere between 1.5 and 4 billion dollars. Well, that 1.5 and 4 billion is a drop in the bucket compared to what you know you're talking about generating through this 40% tax. So, sure. you know, I, I, there's accountability that is required up here, and there's zero accountability. Well, we appreciate that viewpoint because I know a lot of. Uh, People maybe don't share in that. Um, as far as the uh, the sort of trend to tax specific industries, I know that if the state does need to generate revenue, and we've spoken with um, uh, State Representative Mary Jo Daly, who's not necessarily in support of the vaping industry, but her argument is, well, money needs to come from somewhere. Do you think that maybe the solution might be a more unilateral tax, or just really just controlling the spending in general? Well, for me, it's more. I'm I'm here on a bigger picture. Okay. Mm -hmm. you're, you're talking about you know picking one industry, and when mm -hmm. Governor Wolf came into office, he was talking about taxing the natural gas industry, mm -hmm. and you know they're talking about you know changing uh, fees that casinos uh, you know uh, generate to the state. They're talking about different taxes. Everybody, the easy way up here is just to raise taxes on something instead of do your job and find out where you know we have a ship that's leaking, and and. We need, to, we need to pull the ship out of the water, repair the holes, and we don't need to be putting rubber patches on the side of the ship, which is what we do. We need to pull the ship out, and we need to identify where the, well, number one, we need to have scuba divers down in the swamp, <laughs> figuring out where the leaks are, sure. and then you get the, sh you, you take spray paint, there's underwater spray paint, I'm sure, that you, you, you spray paint where the hole is, where you're leaking, and then you pull the ship out, and everything's marked, and you fix it. And you use steel plating, you don't use, you know, rubber patchwork. Mm -hmm. All work. This is patchy, and at the end of the day, so a tax. The, the mentality up here is that we're gonna we're gonna pass these taxes, whether it's on your industry, whether it's cigarette industry, tobacco industry, you know, casinos or whatever. And if you just keep taxing, taxing, and taxing, you're gonna have less consumption, which is maybe the agenda of some people. But at the end of the day, you're not gonna be ahead of the game on the tax revenue. The bottom mm -hmm. line is, listen, I'm 61. I'm looking around. I think you're probably you're probably half my age, or similar in your 30s. Give or take. This is this this madness has been going on for years and years, and it's time to get our house in order financially. So I guess my last question would be um, for people that are specifically in our industry, um, what can they do to spark change? And, and with some of the points you're bringing up, is there anything that we can do actively other than just? you know, meeting with uh, the different representatives um, that comes to mind besides that? Well, the best thing you can do is next time you go to the voting booth and if mm -hmm. somebody's, 
if you have somebody that, that, that represents you, that all they support is you know, raising taxes and not getting our, you know, our financial house in order, you might want to consider voting for somebody else and vote them out of office. Well said. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. I greatly appreciate yeah. it.